What's happening guys? My name is Crazy Sync. We are here today for the second part of our second booster box opening of Sun and Moon Base Set. If you guys did not know that we are on our second box, be sure to check out the first box. Uh, definitely had some crazy pulls in there. But before we get going into these next 12 packs, be sure to smash those thumbs up down below and show some crazy love to that sub button. Uh, you know, it's right next to that like button, so you might as well just hit them both at the same time. And here we go. Just look at this box. I can't even get the whole thing. Let's see if we can. Ooh, look at that. Uh. All right, so let's go ahead and get ourselves out 12 packs. Let's see if I if I did okay this time. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I grabbed one extra. I thought it felt a little too much, but that is all right. We got twelve here today, and it looks like we're gonna start ourselves out with a Solgaleo pack. Hmm. Look at that. He just looks so fierce. Let's go look at the back. I don't think we ever got to look at the back of uh, one of these packs like ever. Uh, your adventure in the new region starts now. It tells about all the GXs and stuff. So let's go ahead and rub this pack for good luck. And let's see if we can get some GX hype for today. Let's see if we can. Because if we can't, you know, that, that, that wouldn't be very good. All right, there we go. So we have ourselves an Alolan Diglett with the move Spelunk. Spelunk. Is that even a word? I mean, who knows? Maybe Dupiter, uh, Lolan Meowth, Growlithe, Rog and Rolla, a Leaf Energy. Cool. We have a Trumbeak, Rainbow Energy. We have a Toracat, a Reverse Eevee. That's a good looking card. And a Tauros GX. Uh huh. I like that. We already do have one of these. Uh, we got it in our last box. Oh, excuse me, uh, but we do, but I am putting it in my deck, so now I have a play one and a pretty one, you know, just kind of one to look at. That is nice, man. I wish to get a full art or a rainbow, uh, one of the hyper rare one of these. That looks really nice, though. I think it looks better than the gum shoes, just in, like, overall, in general, it looks better. And that was our first pack. We got some first pack luck in today's episode so let's go ahead and see if we can get some second pack luck as well i don't think that's a thing but let's see if we can uh i'm not sure if you can get um two gx's in a row in like, like two packs in a row though so maybe we'll have to wait a couple packs we have a togodomaru carvana picky peck sandile schnabel we have a fire energy a double colorless energy Pukumuku, we have a Karakarok, ah, come here, card, uh, we have a Reverse Marini, and a Two Cannon Regular Rare, alright, so we got a Regular Rare and a GX, let's see if we can get ourselves something better than a Two Cannon, ooh, they should make a Two Cannon GX, I feel like that would be a crazy card, that would be a crazy card. I mean, they will probably have one eventually in the whole Sun and Moon era. There will probably be a Toucan in GX at some point. We have a Paris, Caterpie, Makuhita, Chinchou, and a Togedemaru. As I'm grabbing too many cards, I'm excited. I'm trying to get to these rares. And we have a Psychic Energy. We have an Araquanid. An EXP share, Spinda, ooh, a reverse Orangaroo, definitely a good card. Orangaroo, uh, when once a rotation comes around, it'll definitely be like the new Octillery. Once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have three cards in your hand. It's obviously not as good as Octillery, uh, but it will have to do once that stuff rotates out of standard. And then we have a regular rare Mask of Rain. Oh, wrong stack, there we go. All right, we got a Decidueye on the front of this pack, and that is what we are looking for. We are looking for one more Decidueye. One more, and that's it. That is all we need. All right, so four and two. And you know what? Just for a little bit of extra luck, I'm going to push on the button on the Pokeball. Let's see if that will get us a Decidueye GX. We have an Alolan Meowth, a Growlithe, a Rog and Rolla. Cosmog, Litten, uh, Lightning Energy, a Dragonair, Elima. We've got ourselves a Hypno, 
Ooh, a reverse double colorless energy. This is definitely going in my deck as soon as I am done recording. I definitely like the way that looks. And a holographic Sharpedo. All right. Go ahead and sleeve this bad boy up wherever the top is. There it is. All right. I believe we got one of these in the last box, but it's definitely not the worst card. Uh, definitely not the worst card in the set by far. Uh, if it could see some play, maybe not competitively, but just kind of, kind of for fun, just kind of whatever. I'll I'll make a Sharpedo deck or something. Uh, maybe Sharpedo Dark Ride just to mess around with. I don't know. Uh, we have a Shelder, a Young Goose. We have a Paris, Caterpie, Makuhita. We have a Darkness Energy, a Team Skull Grunt. Looking for the full art of this card. It looks absolutely amazing. Uh, we have a Metapod, Granbull, Trumbeak Reverse, and a Parasect, regular rare. All right, looks like we got about seven more packs. We've got over half of this opening left to go. Let's see if we can get a little bit more GX hype. Because only one, and it was just a Tauros. We already got a Tauros. Let's see if we can get something new. If we can get an Umbreon, or an Espeon, or a Lapras. We don't have a Lapras yet. All right, and we have ourselves a Dratini, a Wingle, Stuffle, a Poplio, Zubat, a Fighting Energy. We have a Golbat to go with that Zubat we just got. Energy Switch, a Professor Kukui, also looking for the full art of this one. They all they all look amazing. They all look amazing. Ooh, a Reverse Rare Alolan Doug Trio. All right, I need a new stack for that, and a regular Rare Stoutland. Just a normal, normal little doggy. Uh, apparently big enough to ride on though, as you can, uh, as you can do in the Sun and Moon games. You can ride around on a Stoutland. I believe it's the second ride Pokemon that you get. Alright, one, two, three, four. One, two. Here we go. Alright, we have a Drowsy. Cutie Fly. A Skarmory. Bound Sweet. Alolan Diglett. Okay, we have a Fire Energy. Oh man, I love the energies in this set. I cannot wait until the uh, the Secret Rare Grass Energy and the Secret Rare Double Colorless Energy come out. Uh, Brion, a Rare Candy. We have ourselves a Pinsir. Ooh, a Reverse Lily. And an Arcanine Hollow. Ooh, we have not uh, pulled this card yet. Get a look at that Hollow. Look at that. It has Searing Flame uh, for 60 and is now burned. Uh, and 190 uh, and discard 3 Fire Energy. 190, that's a lot. That really is a lot of damage. Ooh, smack the camera, why don't you? Uh, but then again, 4 Energies is, is, is quite a lot. Go ahead and sleeve that bad boy up. We got 2 Hollows today. We still have 5 packs. Maybe we can get another hollow. Maybe uh, maybe there's a better hollow in this set that I can't think of off the top of my head that we definitely want to pull. I'm not sure if there is even one though. I can't think of another hollow that I'm just like, oh, I have to have that. Pretty much just the GX's and Secret Rays are what I'm looking for now. Uh, especially that, oh man, I put a reverse foil in the regular pile. Silly me. Silly, silly me. We have a Spiro, an Alolan Grimer, we have a Rowlet, a Drowsy, a Lightning Energy, Hurtier, a Wishy Washy, another Rare Candy, uh, we have a Potion Reverse, and a regular Two Cannon, Beak Blast for 100. Your opponent is now burned, uh, just like in the game, just like in the game. Uh, if you use Beak Blast and you get attacked, the opponent gets burned, which is a really, really cool attack. Uh, but uh, in this TCG format, it might not see that much uh, play. Probably not. Uh, let's see, we have a Stuffle, Poplio, Zubit, a Shelder. We have a Young Goose to go with that gum shoes we have in the back. Uh, let's see, we have a Water Energy, a Toracat, Potion, a Trumbeak. A reverse Wingull and a Cloister regular rare. All right, we got one, two, three packs. Let's take a look at them. 
We got a Primarina, a Solgaleo, and a Lunala. We have pulled three Lunala GXs out of two boxes so far. So I think we're going to leave Lunala for last. Definitely showing me the good luck lately. So let's go ahead and get, uh, let's get this Primarina out the way. Oh man, that pack did, uh, did kind of just did something I had never seen a pack do before. I don't know if you guys saw that. It's not that important. It is not that important. All right, so here we go. We got ourselves a Fero. Devastating Wind. Your opponent shuffles their hand into their deck and draws three cards. Wow. That is devastating. That really is. That's like, wow, that's like a like a bad N or like an Alima where you flip tails. Uh, some people might mess around with that, definitely. I never looked at uh, Fira's attack. Maybe Grubbin, a Spiro, a Lolan Grimer, a Rowlet, a Psychic Energy. We have a Charge of Bug, a Dragonair, Poison Barb. Ooh, a Reverse Dartrix definitely going in my deck. And a Hariyama Regular Rare. Man, we got a bunch of Regular Rares today. And not a whole lot of anything else. Let's see if we can get uh, something more than these regular rares. Maybe maybe something with a white code. Let's go white code. It's a green. It's a green. But you know what? Lunala, our last pack of the day. Lunala is going to bring it home. Lunala is definitely going to bring it home. We have ourselves a Cosmog. Let me go ahead and make my stack all nice and purdy over here. Uh, we have a Litten, a Sai Duck. Found Sweet, Lillipup, a Grass Energy, we have a Nest Ball, a Dartrix, a Lolan Persian, a Reverse Rare Crabominable, alright, and a Butterfree Regular Rare. Alright, we got like, we got like eight regular rares, so let's see if Lunala can bring home the goods. Come on, Lunala. Bring me the pulls of the century. The pulls of of the century. Ugh, it's a white code. Oh, that makes me happy. That makes me happy. Let us see if this pack actually is going to make me happy. I'm going to keep them all together so I don't see anything. I don't even get a hint of glimmer in the back. Uh, we have a Snubble, Firo, Grubbin, Spiro. Wait, what? Oh, we got a Firo and a Spiro. I was like, wait, those two cards sounded very similar. But, of course, they did. Uh, we have an Alolan Grimer, a Metal Energy, Boldor. We have a Switch, Alolan Persian. We have a Reverse Spiro. Ooh, and a Lorantis GX. Oh, man. Uh, if you guys have not checked out our, um, what's it called, pre-release opening of Sun and Moon, definitely check that out because you will see a card way better than this, but unfortunately, I had to get rid of it. Uh, oh man, there's a huge scratch on this thing. You guys can see it like right there. There's a huge scratch on that. I noticed because it kind of looks a little off center uh, as well. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and check that video out. It was absolutely wild. So we got two new uh, GXs today, or two more, uh, but let's get a, a look at our rares. We got uh, a Sharpedo and an Arcanine Hollow Rare. And then we got this Tauros. Nice and Tauros. Definitely going to see some play. And Lorantis, probably one of the best uh, competitive GXs out of this set. Definitely. It's probably Lorantis and then Decidueye. Uh, like one and two. Very close. Very good. And can both be. Uh, sped up with Force of Giant Plant, so I feel like they are definitely going to be uh, seen a lot in the meta coming up, I guess, on the 17th, which is when this set it becomes legal for tournaments. But that is all I have for you guys today. Be sure to smash those thumbs up down below and subscribe so you don't miss out on these last 12 packs of this booster box. Oh goodness, I think I might have dropped a pack. I will have to go get that in a minute, but I am going to get out of here, guys. Peace.